That, that does bring me, though, to one development that the my guests have been split on. Michael O'Hanlon thought it was a good idea. It makes VDH a little bit nervous, which is that our friends in Japan have reinterpreted their constitution vis-a-vis -vis the amount of military power that they can deploy, use in support of other allies, et cetera, abroad, away from Japan. Uh, Michael Allen said, this is common sense. Victor Davis Hanson said, this reflects the evaporation of American power in the world, and it's not going to be just Japan. It's going to be everybody running to get their own guns. What do you think, Mark Stein? Yes, I, I, I tend to agree with that. And, and Victor is a believer in, a, in the American umbrella which is the, the situation that's prevailed since the Second World War, uh, where some of the wealthiest countries on, in the world, like Japan or uh, like Germany, uh, were able to not, uh, in a sense, put up the money for their own defense because America, the American umbrella was over them. Uh, Obama, if you learn anything from the last six years, it's, it's that we are entering the post-American world. And whether you're an enemy of the United States or an ally of the United States, you've got to adjust to that. And I entirely understand why the Japanese would conclude, as the Polish foreign minister concluded, uh, a, a couple of uh, weeks ago, that when it comes to it, the Americans are not going to be there for them. The, the Royal Australian Navy a couple of years ago held exercises with the uh, Chinese, joint exercises. And I said to uh, a, a, a naval officer down there that I know, I said, well, didn't you, all, didn't you guys all find that a bit odd? And he said, well, this, this is the reality. In, in Ameri when America withdraws from the Pacific, uh, Japan and Indonesia and Australia and China are all still going to be there and we're going to have to deal with the new reality as best we can japan is is dealing with the post-american world poland is australia is singapore is that is simply a reality of a, a five years uh, of uh, of obama foreign policy well then uh, dinesh d'souza's new movie america imagine the world without it is not so much a dire projection it's reality i don't know if you've seen it yet by the way it's a terrific movie and it's not really apocalyptic it it simply presents uh, what the left has been about, believes, and what Hillary's about. I, I think it's going to do very well at the box office, but I don't know if the great turn is upon us. We'll, we'll know in five months, Mark Stein. What do you think? Well, I, I, again, I think that's, that's the great question. You know, when you go back and look at some of the things that Mitt Romney was saying, for example, about the economy in 2012, uh, it, it made it made a lot of sense. The economy is a disaster. The economy is a bust. Uh, he hasn't Obama hasn't been able to jumpstart the economy, and I think the response of a big sliver of the American people was that's all the more reason to vote for more permanent, multi generational government dependency, which is a very sad thought for the eve of Independence Day. But a lot of Americans, particularly the ones who, who supplied his margin of victory, uh, voted for a kind of big government nanny because Obama has so flatlined the economy uh, that, that, that they don't want to take their risks out there in the new normal, and they'll cling to nanny's apron strings so, uh, in, in, the, in the service of uh, government dependence. But, Mark, we've seen thought. that. We, we saw that in Great Britain in the 50s and the 60s. We, th do people not remember that? Well, I think, that, I think that's what's so interesting. There's nothing new. There's nothing new about... Uh, Obama, what Obama's doing. It's, uh, it's ancient stuff that was applied in the rest of the Western world between the 1940s and the 1970s, and which they all gradually pulled away from, not just in uh, Britain, not just in New Zealand, but even Sweden. Uh, and he has not, and, and so there's nothing new about it. All that's different is nobody's ever tried to do it to a nation of 300 million people on the scale that this guy's doing it.